Well, I said I'd deliver in my last videos. I'm going to do some castles. So here we are, Lancashire, Clitheroe. Not really a castle, a keep, but near enough. Put some drone footage on now, just showing what, uh, what we're working on. We got involved with this last uh, autumn, I think, and we have been doing some surveying work on this, uh, looking at the structural integrity of it. And you can see it's up on top of the hill in Clitheroe. Every, anyone from Lancashire or around uh, West Yorkshire will know, know, know of this place. It's a cracking place to come up and have a walk around. And last year we had to close it due to a few issues that we had with some masonry work. So the structural engineer now has done us some lovely drawings and designs for a propping scheme, uh, which we are now currently putting in place. A little bit of history on it. Originally built this 11th century, uh, so it's aging in the docks that we've been reading. And it's gone through a fair few phases of uh, being derelict and rebuilt and derelict and rebuilt. Um, the big hole that we're actually propping in here, there is legend that um, Mr Cromwell from Pendlehill, which is over there, shot a cannon through it. Uh, I don't know how true that is, but it may be. Um, and uh, what we've got, uh, most of it now, is clad in masonry and limestone and this masonry is a victorian edition the victorians kind of totally it was devilish when they had it and they've totally uh, reskin it if you will and this is what we're looking at because we don't believe that the skin on the castle is um, that well adhered um, but we're gonna have a look at that later on uh, next week we can see these big buttresses that we've got here. They're all Victorian. And yeah, what a place. Trial holes are going in down here. I'm going to do them next week because we just want to, the Schultz Engineer just wants to know whether, where about the bedrock is. Uh, we believe it's built on a limestone bedrock. But wow, what a place. See if we can sneak in round here. Yeah, it looks nice, uh, it looks very nice, but apparently before the Victorians got hold of it, it was very much a ruin. Quick pan round. Blickly there are. So it's in pretty good nick. There is uh, some issues with water ingress at wall head level that we've got on this, but we need to uh, look at it further. And uh, the council are wanting to uh, investigate where it is. This is uh, some of the issues that you've got. You see just water bleeding out of the masonry. Not like here, but then there's no up there, but there's nothing above it, and so it's gaining at our level. There's a it's been pointed before in the past, but oh, top company that um, pointed before in the past in areas with with, uh, with lime, but nothing too extensive. Extensive, extensive is that a word? Um, Yeah, I think uh, I think that centre section there has had some repair work. It looks like it, some lime mortar. But anyway, we'll go inside and have a look, to see what's uh, see what's going on. Let's see going out of it there. That's on. Go inside. We've got the door up there which goes up the stairs. It's grim up there, you don't want to go up there. It's 
Scotty boys here. Right. Hey. Um, so what we've done is we've just popped up this fireplace. Well, let's check it out that way. Seems to be missing a lintel and uh, been identified. So we need to prop it, so we've just put this little, it is a fairly lovely piece of prop in that, in there. We've put some oak blocks, top and bottom. Everything's in, in oak in this. Um, we've trimmed some wedges down, wedged it all up, and we're going to put some uh, mortar, put some filling mortar in all this lot just to take anything that we can't get with the wedges. And uh, yeah, so we've got three props in the front. Uh, we've got some uh, scaffolding jacks pushing out sideways on there and then some vertical jacks in the back there. Some little strut props and they've all been tied together and linked together. So I don't think that's going anywhere. We've got these stones up there as well because we've got this outer leaf up here and then we've got this inner leaf as well. That's why we put this propping in the back there. Um, so yeah, that's, uh, that's that one. Looks pretty good. We've done another one as well, I think. Uh, oh, that one, uh, this doorway here, didn't have any propping inside of it. Um, I think that was the last stone there that was kind of just floating there. So we've put, yeah, we just put some jack props with some scaffold tube in and then we've boxed it in. All this will get boxed in as well. We're going to box all that in with some uh, 25 mil ply, fix it all in place. So that no one can get any, any, get on it. We're going to lock all these uh, props off as well, all the handles uh, for the props. We're going to lock all them off. And then this is the other one that lads are working on at the minute. Propping up this, this hole. I'd say a cannon hole, but um, it's an hole uh, for now. And um, yeah, so what we're going to do, we're just doing the outside propping, outside three rows of propping, and then scaffolding's coming on the inside on Monday. And then we're going to prop up uh, where the single prop is we're going to expand upon that and then link them all together so that's that one we'll uh go and get them boys off scaffolding we'll have a look up there eh? coming up scott yeah. <laughs> all right let's go get on the scaffolding Well, here we are, as they're cracking on, putting this in. You can see we've got oak blocks in here. Uh, we've put a big oak, oak sleepers that we're using on this, and these are all getting packed out with wedges and uh, packing mortar as well. And we've got this front line of props that's going in, and the lads are just linking this scaffy bar now. That's going to link through and tie all these yeah, props together. This, this bar up at the top here is going to link all the top sections together, they haven't clipped it on yet, but that's going to clip all the top, and then we've got one to go down there. Watch your ass, Ad. No one can see. Too big. <laughs> yeah, so we've just got to get another another one down at this lower level, link all the bottom half of the props in. And then we've got these second row of props that we've put in. They're going to then be tied through from these scaffold tubes to the second one, then to the third one, and then to the fourth one which is that red prop, I can't see, which is that red prop right down there. So we're just going to get these first three layers in, link them all together. And like I say, this scaffolding's getting dropped. We're going to flip around onto the inside and then put it all together. We're actually going to put some ply sheets on this to uh, cover all this up. So some of these scaffold poles will actually protrude through here, put the ply sheet on and then we'll just put a, a scaffold clip, just all, all the ply sheet in, in place. Um, but yeah, everything's just getting uh, blocked and wedged up. So hopefully tomorrow we'll, uh, we'll, we'll be done on this side and we'll move on to the other side. Under pressure now, Scott. Huh? Under pressure. No pressure. No pressure. Pressure. 
that sort of thing. You might have to take the end off that. Bottom screw it. Yeah, put my hand on. Not an easy job, this. I really feel I want to give you a hand, but I'm holding my camera so I can't. <laughs> we'll just watch you struggle instead. <laughs> Do you want to hold that pole? No, you'll have to come up. That's it, yep, yep. Yep. You got it there? Yeah, yeah, I got it. I can just sit there Come on, yeah, come on, we're running out of YouTube time. <laughs> it's one scaffy clip. Got stage for it. Yeah, it's a good job. You, you boys aren't scaffold, isn't it? There we go, just a little look at what we're doing up at Clitheroe. That's a busy, Scott's loving it. Um, yeah, it'll be a nice little job, this. Um, hopefully, we can get the castle back open for Easter and everyone can come up and enjoy it. You can come and see how Andy works, well you won't see it because they'll be boarded in but um, yeah it's a good little project and uh, we've got more to do here, more surveying work that we'll be doing over the coming weeks um, so yeah stay tuned. We've got another castle starting very soon which we're super excited about. That's going to be probably next week week after where we're going to do in the pre-start can't really say too much about that at the minute but uh, that's is going to be a really exciting and difficult project to do and next week we are doing the pinnacle lift over at Scunthorpe which we're going to video I'm going to do it lads have done a video Scott done a video for uh, putting all the steel work uh, core joining and steel work bars so I'll get that out this uh, weekend and we'll get the Pinnacle Rebuild Part 1, which is six pieces with a crane lift in. That can, uh, that's getting done next week, so uh, next weekend we'll get that out and whatever else we can. Hope you enjoy. See you later.